welcome to the Knitting Samurai Hi. Plus One video podcast. I'm your host, Steph, and this is episode 101. Uh, Studio audience, he's right there talking it up a little bit. Uh, we'll see how he does. Uh, yeah, you're going to contribute too? Oh, you love to talk. Yeah. Well, it's not fair to you ladies not to at least let you check him out. Hey, T. You have anything to say? <laughs> So there he is, and here I am with you. So it is the end of August, and it's been crazy busy getting things ready and preparing to go back to work. It, it went by like that, um, like that, Tristan. <laughs> and just getting this guy ready to start daycare and starting to think about, okay, what's the new routine gonna be? Really happy at 11 weeks, and I think it's the last five nights we've he slept from 8 until 4 30 or 5 in the morning so that's always appreciated and closer to 5 or 5 30 and what else is happening we went to yeah we went to the beach one day this weekend well sort of the beach it's a state park that has a giant playground right up against this rocky coastline Odeon State Park in New Hampshire and um, so the boys and I hung out there for a while, and Roland had this to share with you. What the clothes are Danny lying? Yeah. No, they're, um, I don't know what they're called. A dandelion. They're white. Dandelions are yellow. Look at that boat. Two boats moving. Three boats. Everybody's out on their boats. Yeah. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five. I see five boats, too. Good job. Hey, there's a sailboat out there, too. I see Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, bonk. <laughs> Roland bonked his head. Tell me what you see. I see a monkey bird. Oh, it's a monkey bird. It's right in the ocean. What's she doing here, you think? Yeah. What else do we see? Where are the seagulls? See any seagulls? Flying? I see a seagull! Over there, yeah! Um, mockingbirds trap people. Mockingbirds trap the people? Yeah. Oh, I think so. Wow, do you think how loud the waves are? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty loud. Yeah. yeah. What is way down there? What's way down there? Yeah. Ocean. I, I, uh, I see a buoy. You see a buoy? <laughs> and Tristan has lots of commentary to add, of course. So he is 11 weeks old and just full of sunshines, rainbows, and happiness. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, you didn't come here to watch me play with my baby, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to show you the one thing I've been working on. I know. So... <laughs> If you're new to the show, typically I do not, uh, typically the shows are longer because I am a five or six project at a time person. But these past few weeks I have had very little knitting motivation. Maybe it's that it's August and it's hot and I just want something little and portable. But I haven't even been working on socks, which is typically my go-to project. So um, what I have been working on are squares for my barn raising quilt that I thought was a harebrained idea to knit 77 squares and I wanted to use only my self-striping yarn leftovers and I jumped right in and I to date have completed 24 squares which is crazy I'm a third of the way through this blanket uh, <laughs> but I don't have enough self-striping sock yarn to keep going so I'm doing about a square a day and I have this momentum towards the project and I know darn well knowing Stephanie <laughs> the way I do that I'm gonna see something more shiny and lose all interest in this and it'll get put on the wayside which is fine fine because I have I counted today 15 skeins of self-striping leftovers left and once those are knit up that's like 15 days that's two weeks worth of knitting for me um, once those are knit up I'm gonna stop knitting the squares anyway so it's good I've had this momentum and it's carried me through the stash that I had you should see how much less of these little balls I have not 24 but a, a quite a bit less 
And um, especially when you think about that, when you knit self-striping skeins, like the knit picks Felici, you know, you have two skeins. So then you have two little leftover balls and you put them in a square and then you have no little leftover balls. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm having a great time knitting on this blanket and I recognize that it's gonna slow down and get set aside and that's okay, right? And meanwhile, when that happens, I will start knitting my self striping socks like there's no tomorrow because I don't want to include yarns in the blanket. Yeah, that I have not knit the socks on. So um, one of my most recent ones that I finished is this. It is uh, Loops and Thread Luxury Sock Yarn. And I think two years ago, I knit these for my mother-in-law for Christmas. And the day that I knit this square, I just, I thought about her all day. It made me so happy. I felt in touch with her and connected in a way that I normally don't feel or, and I don't think about her that much. And it just made me happy all day long. And so, um, I, I want to make sure that I'm using scraps that, what do you think? That, um, have meaning. So meaning to me anyway. So that was one. This one is a uh, skein of Regia design line. I think it's the Cape Facet, one of those colors. Um, the color names or color name. Okay, so wait, let me say this again. The yarn and color name are in my project page along with the amount of yarn that it took for each of these squares. So the, I find that the Regia and Patton's Croy is a heavier weight yarn. So it takes closer to 17, 18 grams. And like this one, the Lux sock was I think 14 grams. So it was a lighter weight one. Um, this square is Ditto by Universal Yarns. And it's hard to see that it is striped. There's a black stripe right here. And it has this fair isle effect throughout or a polka dot effect throughout as the square went on. And this was a pair of socks I knit for my friend Allison, who I just want to send a big congratulations out to. So um, I was happy. I was another one that I was just happy knitting on thinking about her all that day. And then this one you may recognize from our knit along. This was Inspiration Dye Works Knitting Samurai Plus One Color Away. And of course, I absolutely love this color. It's all my favorite colors. Um, Steve looked at it and said, were you ever a Charlotte Hornets fan if you love that color scheme? But I do. I really do. And this is the fluffy plus base. So this is one that's a little beefier. It's um, like a 20 grams per square. So, so it is course, my intention to uh, block these squares out to 7 by 7, which is what the pattern calls for. Um, and the pattern is by... Shelly Mackey and Melissa Labar, and it's in the Knit Alongs book. Yeah, and then I intended for these to be a grouping of purple squares, but like this one, you can definitely, like the yellow, sorry for the yelling, the yellow pops. Um, and mind you, it won't be like this in the coming weeks because I'm gonna go back to recording at the office on Friday. But it'll probably be in every other week so a little more than 10 days maybe yeah okay studio audience you be impressed by these squares yeah he's been loving on his caterpillar i didn't knit it for him i knit it for someone else but then i didn't give it to him and so then i gave it to tristan so oh yeah okay um so I intend to kind of squint my eyes and see what color like this, I'm probably gonna put this in a yellow or an orange grouping and lay out my squares by that way and then do the diagonals similar of color, diagonals of color, similar to the way I did the uh, vivid blanket. <laughs> so that's the first set of four. Here's the second set of four. Um, this square is Regia. I don't really know anything about it besides the fact that it's Regia. It is the second skein of sock yarn that I ever bought and knit. And I worked on these while listening to A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickinson. Dickinson? Dickens. Charles Dickens. And um, they just make me happy. They make me think of that book. So that was a fun one. I also have this square. Here you go, honey. Uh, which is a beautiful, I think it's a Patton's, just a striping heathered, uh, it's Patton's Jacquard. And you know, gray, navy blue, just a simple pair. I think I knit these for Steve, or my mother-in-law knit me a pair and then sent the leftovers and I, I don't 
don't know. I don't remember this yarn, but I found it out there. So, um, it's pretty enough. So, and then this one, I think this is my, because feeling the texture, these are my socks that she knit for me. Um, yeah, 99% sure on that one. And then this is, <laughs> I'm not quite certain on this either. It's a big box yarn. Um, it's, I want to say it's either Red Heart or it's Sensations. And I have to tell you that if I could knit 15 more pairs of socks with this yarn, I would in this exact colorway. For the price, you can't beat the Fair Isle effect that you get on that yarn. I absolutely love it. And I knit these for Steve while I was pregnant with Roland. I started them with Roland and maybe I finished them while I was pregnant with for Tristan. I'm not sure. They were on super tiny needles. I do remember that. So... And I knit Steve this pair of socks because I initially uh, bought this skein of yarn for him. We were um, in a yarn store with some of our friends and they were all humoring me on vacation, doing vacation yarn buying. And I picked up this skein of Fortissima and none of them could wrap their mind around the fact that one strand of yarn was going to make stripes on a pair of socks and make dotting effects and how that was going to work and so I said okay I'll show you guys and I cast on and I started knitting them immediately and I said I was going to make them for Steve but then they came out too short for his foot so they're for me but I felt bad and so then I cast these on for him instead so those are my gray black navy grouping right there and then there's this one which is some knit picks Felici and I knit, I think they're called Twinkle Berries with these for myself. And um, the socks have not worn very well, to be honest. <laughs> they're a little pilly. So, but um, the yarn is so soft to work with. And this is the Tyrian Purple colorway. So, there's that. I have this one, which is more Inspiration Dye Works. You know I love it. This is her basic sock, though, instead of the Fluffy Plus. I prefer the Fluffy Plus, but this colorway is Gothic Stripe, which I think is maybe the first color I got from her. I don't know. It's one of my, it was one of my favorites, and I still have a little bit of this one left out in the stash bin. And then this right here is uh, one of my, no, not one of, is my absolute favorite opal color, and it is called Petticoats. And I knit these on vacation with my mom, my aunt Bonnie, and my cousin Lauren. And Lauren's feet are size 11 as well. And so when I finished the socks, I had her put them on. And I took all kinds of funny pictures of her feet wearing the socks. So, they, I didn't give her the socks. I've given her lots of socks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And I say I kept them for me. I don't know where they are. Maybe they're out in the sock, in the gift bin. I don't know. I should find them because I do love that color. And then the last of the four purple squares right here is this one, which is Regia Arabesque, which if you are a longtime viewer of the podcast, you remember I said that for like three months incorrectly. Um, <laughs> and this is one that uh, has less predictable stripe pattern and so it gave more irregular like it, it looks less striped to me than anything else but and the colors did stack and pool like there's more purple over here and more navy over here but and you I because of the size of the square you don't even didn't even see the blue gray green portion until the end but once it's blocked that'll show so there you go those are the 12 squares I have completed as of this moment 12 more squares so next time I see you I'll have some more squares I'll probably have progress on a sock and I'll have tales of woe about returning back to work I'm sure so in the meantime oh before we go out we should share with you this is uh, Tristan talking one morning very early before Roman got up <laughs> he's so funny yeah you are bubblehead <laughs> Do you have any more to say?
Yeah. <laughs> All right, and now that's the last bit for this week, this time. So I will see you in about 10 days or so. Enjoy what's going on with your knitting. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>